Okay, so I'm going to show you how to combine two photos using Photoshop. In your Combine Two Photos folder, if you can see it right here at the top of the list, open it up. There's instructions, but I will show you what to do. So you have subject folder uh, photos and background photos. You need one of each. I already took one of each. Actually, I got them off the web, but you'll click on it. You'll uh, Save it to desktop, whatever you got to do, put it in a place where you can find it, and then open Photoshop. I have Photoshop open. When it opens, you hit File New. And uh, do width of 8.5 and height as 11 because that's the same as a paper size. Just double check right here that it's inches and not something else, and hit Create. I already did that, so I hit close, but I um, do have an 8.5 by 11. Now I'm going to do file open, and I'm going to open the two images, the subject and the background. I have them saved to my desktop, so I'm going to my desktop, and here's one. I'm going to hold uh, control so I can grab two at once. So I got my beach, and I got my dog. And hit open, and you'll see the two tabs. Open in addition to my untitled file. So first I'm going to start with the beach. I'm going to use this rectangular tool here, rectangular marquee, like that, start at the corner, drag a box around it, control C for copy is what I just pushed. Or you could do uh, edit copy. Either one would work. Go back to your untitled and do control V for paste or edit paste. I can see that my beach is way too big for this image, so I'm going to go to the Move tool, click that once, make sure that this box is checked in, it's Show Transform Control. That puts boxes around the giant image and see how big it is. I'm holding Shift right now. Make sure you hold the Shift key for about what you're about to do. Drag a corner, the top left here, and move it inward like that. Let go of the mouse first, then let go of shift, hit enter, drag it back. Do this until you feel like it's the right size for your screen or whatever, even if it's smaller than your paper, that's okay. I think I liked it when it was bigger. I'm gonna hold shift and drag it to get the whole page. So I'm hitting enter to accept. Now I'm gonna go to my dog. Same thing, rectangular marquee, start at the corner, drag it, control C for copy, go back, control V. This can be big, so I'm gonna hold shift. You have to hold shift. If you don't hold shift, it'll get distorted. This is what would happen if you don't hold shift. That's bad photoshopping. So I'm holding shift, dragging in, bringing them over. Dragging them some more, putting them right in the middle of the sand. Well, his foot's cut off, so I'm going to put him on the edge of the paper so it looks natural. Well, it's like both his feet are cut off. One's over here. I'll make him big enough so that you can't tell. Hit enter. Okay, so I actually combined two photos already, but it doesn't look natural because of his white background. Because it's all one white, white solid color, I can go to this tool, this magic wand, with it. Click anywhere in the white, it will select everything of that same pixel. Now I see there's a problem here. It's confusing itself, it's going within the fur. If I delete all this white, it will also delete his fur. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep it selected, but I'm going to use the eraser tool and make it a little bit small. That was a huge, that's a huge size. See up here? I'm going to make the size smaller. I do like the fuzzy one, not the straight edge. I think I'm going to stick with the fuzzy and just start erasing as close as I can to him so that it doesn't really interfere with his fur over here. I can just be careful in this area. I could probably go faster in this area because it's pretty, they, they did a good job of selecting the area around him there. Here I'm going a little bit closer. There we go. I'm going to hit Control D. That's for deselect. I could also go to here and deselect, select, deselect, or Control D. I like Control D. Okay. 
Now this area here doesn't look so natural because it's not sand. I'm not even gonna select it. I'm just gonna stay on my eraser tool and just start manually erasing that area till it blends that white away. Go back. So I think it's too big of a, of a size of a circle. I can bring it down a little and be a little more accurate. If I don't like the fuzziness to it, I could change it to a straight edge, hard round, and get real close. See how it's definitely more precise. Be careful not to go into him because it'll it'll go right into him. And see now it, I'm leaving this area here, which I don't really like. I'm going to go to this zoom tool, zoom into it, go back to my eraser, definitely make it smaller. I think I'm going to go back to the soft edge, and make it. Smaller, fit in there a little bit better. And then I can hold down the space bar and move it around. See, if I hold space bar, it turns into a hand and I can move him around and I can get closer. This can be real precise. I can spend a lot of time on this and make it perfect. I'm not going to do that for this video. Look, we had a little bit of a problem right here. So maybe if I, if I did it again, I would be more careful up there. So control zero would bring me back. And there it is. I combined two photos. If I want, I can hit the text tool and type something up here. My dog. So the select tool, hold down shift. And just like you can resize the beach and the dog earlier, you can do that with words too. There's my dog. Enter. And I can use file save. Give it a name, my dog. Give it to your desktop or wherever you choose, so maybe a web imprint folder, and then upload that file to Schoology. And that's it. Good luck.